Say What Show. We want to introduce you to interesting people that are important to our LGBTQ plus community. We also like to discuss the events going on in South Florida. That's why this morning I have a special interview with Gabe Salazar from the Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida to chat about their upcoming holiday events. He is so hot. So I'm super excited about my next guest, Gabe Salazar. He's a hottie, but he's a whole lot more than just a hottie of our community. And I'm just going to, I'm going to ask him if he wants to be the big bad wolf, since I'm kind of looking like mm. I'm giving Little Red Riding Hood vibes today with this Santa outfit. It's a vibe. Right? It's a vibe. Right. Like <laughs> Gabe Salazar, he's the artistic director of the Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida. And Friday's holiday concert at Sunshine Cathedral, which is December 16th, is sold out. Oh my God, I can't believe it's this week already. Celebrate the holidays on Sunday, December 18th at 7 p.m. featuring Tony Award nominee singer and songwriter Shoshana. Shoshana Bean. Wow, the Shoshana? The Shoshana, Shoshana Bean. Yeah, and Grammy nominated. At the Hard Rock Live, GMCSF recently merged with the Fort Lauderdale Gay Men's Chorus and is now one of the largest gay chorus groups in the country with over 170 members. Welcome to the Faye What Show, Mr. Gabe Salazar. Thank you. I'm my own crowd. Okay, I can do that too. <laughs> oh yeah, so thank you for taking the time yeah, to come be in bed me. because I know that this is show week. So you are like in between rehearsals, yeah. figuring out costumes, figuring out, what do you guys wear? You know, I actually turn over the costumes. We have so many volunteers in our group and like kind of hand it over. They just kind of give me something to approve and I say yes or no and it's done. So I'm very lucky to have that. Okay, but if they come over with something like some green stuff and you know, oh, green doesn't yeah. look good in our complexion, Correct. you know, you'll be like <laughs> negative, not going to happen. No, I think we're doing the first half is like more of a silver tones and then second half is blue. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Oh, yeah. God. So, so many things going on with you, Gabe. So you guys had, you had that merge, you had a holiday uh, concert here at Sunshine Cathedral a couple of weeks back. Now you have this going on. Um, you've been artistic director now, what? A this year? is my second year, two. so yeah, year, year and two. A half. My, you're not even, not, not even, even year two. No, and you've done so much in such a short <laughs> period of time. It's a lot. Were it's you, so much fun. Is it? Is it, it really fun? Is. I mean, don't they say like if you know if if your job is not if it's something that you love to do, then it's not really work. Is Absolutely. that how you feel about it? Most of the time. Most of the this time. This week, no, because it's so much work and overwhelming. But at the end of the week, it's going to be so rewarding and so so worth it. So you became the artistic. What exactly does that mean, artistic director? Anything that is artistically involved, it kind of goes through me. I plan everything, the programs, um, what we're going to do, where we're going to perform, um, and just kind of anything that, you know, deals with the chorus singing and performing, it kind of comes through me. So you got, you uh, became artistic director in the middle of COVID, basically. So yeah, we started the first half basically doing Zoom rehearsals. It was it was rough. Okay. So during that time, because it was COVID, yeah. did you have to get some singers that were bad? <laughs> No. What? No, I'm saying because like I'm thinking like, you know, people were trying to like start new hobbies and stuff and they were like, I, maybe uh, I could sing. And somebody like, you know, somebody heard them sing in the shower and they were like, oh, baby, you could sing. You know, your partner's always lying to you. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, let me go try out for the gay men's chorus. And then you they may, end up on your lap. Maybe that might have happened. Maybe. Before you. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe it did happen. <laughs> now you have that choir member that you can't get rid of. You know who he is, right? You choir members, you know who he is. No. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm super excited about this event and um, Sunshine Cathedral already sold out. Yeah, I'm so excited. We usually don't sell out Sunshine until like a couple days before. But okay, we sold that out sold last out last week, week already. Oh, so yeah, and Hard Rock, we sold over, I think, 1,300 tickets so far. Oh so there's not God. very many left. So wow, yeah, get your so tickets. Get your tickets now. And, you know, the Hard Rock venue is like on another level really of venue. Is. Like they're una energia. There's some kind of energy in there. Yeah, I didn't do it because last year we had to cancel. Oh my God! We yes. got there the day of, and we had you know a lot of COVID outbreak, and we had to cancel. So this is my first time. Okay, so you're bringing it, and you're having to come with it even yeah, more so because absolutely. you're making up for last year too. Mm -hmm. Are there going to be like any surprises? Are you going to have like some really hot guy jump out of like a Christmas cake or something right in the middle or something? <laughs> no, that's a good idea, but um, maybe. Give me credit. You yeah. did Give me some kind okay, of credit. For sure. You know. You want to do it? <laughs> I don't have the right equipment for your kind of thing. So you're, um, Gabe, it's called the Gay Men's Course. Yeah, Luna's part of the show. She comes with it. Do you have any people on the choir that are not men? We do. We changed our bylaws and we've kind of uh, opened it at anybody who can sing the tenor bass range. So this year we had our first is female and we also have non-binary members as well. So it's been really exciting. And at first there was like a little hesitation from some older members. What was the hesitation? What was the worry? 
just you know, the and big, it's okay. Like, yeah, the feelings you know, are okay. It's just that they would come in and change the culture of our organization, and you know, those are valid. Like, but luckily, I mean, this person has come in, and she has been the greatest addition to our mm. room. She's so warm and welcoming, and we've just welcomed her family, and she's just a part of us now. I love that. Yeah, and well, and I say thank you on behalf of all the rest of the letters of yeah. the acronym for being inclusive that Absolutely. way. You know, a lot of us can sing me me me. <laughs> Not me, but you know. So, Gabe, you know, the holidays can be hard for many LGBTQ plus people. Yeah. You know, um, you may be the only holiday that someone gets. Yeah. That's like an important, important thing to, to be. Yeah. And that's what I, you know, think about when I plan these programs. You know, my, my goal for this is for somebody to come see this and to feel, you know, feelings of hope and love and community and belonging. They come into our, our concert and, and leave feeling a sense of a family and joy. And filled. Yeah. And filled. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be singing like all the classics? We're doing lots of classics. So, you know, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, uh, Oh Come All You Faithful, Silent Night. And we have a lot of fun other, you know, fun tunes, pop tunes. Yeah. And Shoshana's going to be singing four on her own. Maybe All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. you got to sing that. Is that you know, that's the song that we all love to hate, <laughs> right? Because like once it plays, we're like, Gonyo, it started, oh, go. right? Yes. But it still it gives us life. But I'll though. listen to her singing it again. Oh She's my god! Incredible. Yeah, or lip sync it. Either yeah. way, it's still the same thing, yeah. you know. So I just figured out how I can help. Okay. I can sing. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. <laughs> I wanna wish Christmas. 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 You know? I love it. So, Gabe, we had, um, you know, I, I mean, the holidays, you know, can be can be happy for some folks, can be, you know, can be festive for some folks, can yeah. be sad for other folks, and you know, the the climate that we're in, it, it's such a heavy freaking climate, you know, with all the hate that's targeted towards our community, absolutely, constantly, you know, um, a couple of weeks ago, we had the unfortunate um, killing of five individuals at Club Q in Colorado Springs. Um, we were constantly being threatened at drag shows because, you know, huh, drag queens are going to hurt somebody, exactly. right? Yeah. Um, are you fearful? You know, there's like, I mean, at the beginning a little, I mean, I felt a little bit, but then it just kind of gives me more reason to know that I'm doing what, what I'm supposed to be doing. We need to be, this is the time where we need to be more vigilant, be more loud, be more out there. And we're not going to stop and we're going to keep going because we're not, we're not going anywhere. So deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> No, but and, and I appreciate you being honest and saying, yeah, yeah I was for a second. Yeah, you know, because somebody else would be like, no, we got this and blah, 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 blah. But the reality is that, hey, you know, like when you play rock, paper, scissors, a gun yeah. out, out, outdoes you. Okay. I mean, you know. And yeah, let's face it. We're in a hugely concentrated area of LGBTQ plus people. So we are target. Yeah. So, um, you know. Yeah, I was scared a little bit, but not anymore. Mm. Do you have a certain mantra or do, is, there, is there something that you do before getting on stage? Um, I like to just be a little bit alone. I play, my, you know, different music, whatever that might be. And just kind of just take some time to breathe, to remember to breathe. That's hard to do sometimes. Right? I something know. so simple. But that, like just breathe. Something that we need to do to live. Mm -hmm. And we forget to do right. that sometimes. So just being alone, getting focused and centered and kind of just giving, uh, I kind of speak out, um, just things that I'm grateful for. Mm. I've started doing that this year, and it's really helped my, my mindset. I love so that. I'm super grateful to be in a position that I'm in. If I, you know, if somebody would have told 11 year old Gabe that who was in the closet that you'd be leading a, a queer organization, I would never ever believe it. So I'm thankful for the opportunity that I have and get this to use this platform for good. And you're doing an exceptional job. Thank you. you know, like I, I I don't know why I just see like cute Mr. Gabe like look in the mirror going, "You could do this. <laughs> you are handsome. You." Got Got this you will hit every note that's right well at least you'll do it this time that's right because of, you. <laughs> because of me <laughs> so are you still single uh, and you knew i was gonna get to this because i, I can't remember like I, I, I was trying to remember if i had interviewed you before and i don't think i have i think that we did a queer news tonight mm -hmm. juntos that's and right. that I think that we also just talked crap one day. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had we, we had brunch after Church. service here at Sunshine Cathedral. Yeah. And I was all into your freaking, <laughs> why aren't you on Scruff? Why aren't you on Grinder? Blah, blah, blah. So are you still single? Yeah. You're I'm not! Sure. You're not! <laughs> He's not! He's I'm not! Sure. You heard it here first no, on the Pay What Show. You're not. We'll see. Okay, so see. you're dabbling. Dabbling. Is it just, okay, so here's the thing. I'm from New Jersey, yeah. right? And in New Jersey, we have four seasons, okay. right? So you dump 
<laughs> everybody when spring is coming because really? it's time yeah because it's time to cruise and be cute and summer's coming so you got to put on the bathing suit and all that Still but summer. then when it starts going under 50 and you know winter's coming you go call that ex or that person that's awful for you just because you be want a warm body next to you yeah, what if you're the cuffet season is that what this is right now <laughs> something like that <laughs> this is the time to hook up okay and then you get christmas presents and then you can True. pretend to be jewish and say you get hanukkah presents you know like kwanzaa like give me all the presents i got work to do you do okay well congratulations on your new hookup <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do when this show like just is everything and it's a fantastic way to end the year how are you gonna supersede this next year what are the plans for 2023 with the gay men's chorus yeah i mean i'm gonna take like a few days off but then we have to kind of get right back into it our next rehearsal is january 3rd to kind of start, we're doing our March concert, um, and that's called The Songs of the Phoenix. And that is a story uh, written by nine, I think it's like actually 11 different composers, all different kinds of cultural backgrounds, diversities. We have trans women, we have cis women, we have Asian, we have Mexican, um, uh, Jewish. And it's all about telling the story of coming out and emerging from the Phoenix from the, the standpoint of the pandemic. I love that. So it's super cool. I It'll be really love good. that. And you'll be telling a story it like you always do. I, I, I love that. And that's one of the wonderful things about it, to tell a story. Yeah. To take the person that's in the audience in and on that journey with you. Absolutely. And that's exactly what you folks are going to do. So get that's your right. tickets for the Hard Rock. I know that it's going to sell out, folks. Okay. Better. So it, it will. It will, okay? I'm not going to take up any more of your time because I know your ass needs to go rehearse and scream at some alto <laughs> for trying to sing a soprano part. See, I know things. Yeah. Dale Stein would be so proud of me. Please go do, go follow also follow Gabe Salazar on all social media outlets. He's always doing something, being his fine-ass self, and maybe you'll find out who he's <laughs> hooking up with, all right? Big shout-out to the Gay Men's Chorus. Thank you for the new inclusivity. Yeah. I love everything that you folks are doing, and I will be the one with a big sign in the back, like if you're Taylor Swift. That's love, right. Hello, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for being on the Fair Watch Show, Papi. So ah. We'll be right back. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So, make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Fay What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Fay What Show. Get the week started with me.